Amid all the chaos of German troops invading Greece during World War II, many families were trying to continue on with their lives as best they could. However, this proved to be quite difficult because everyone was affected in some way. With an economic crisis, food shortages, and the danger of German soldiers, it was next to impossible not to be. The Haja Theodoro family was no exception. Alexandra Haja Theodoro was only a young girl at the time. Despite her family being rather well off, the war left no one unaffected. My grandfather, her father, was able to get a, um, a gallon, a metal gallon container of olive oil on the black market because so much of their diet involved olive oil in cooking. And um, he was very, very pleased to have achieved this. He brought it home and they opened it up and it turns out there was just a little bit of olive oil floating in a vat of water and they'd been cheated and that was a real heartbreak because they didn't have much and here they were cheated with what little they had. Daily life had certainly become more dangerous. With German soldiers wandering the streets, young Alexandra was warned about going outside. One day she was up in, in upstairs in their house and she was looking out onto the street. She heard a commotion and she took a peek out and a split second after she took her head back in, there was a bullet that went right into the window sill where she put her head out. And if she hadn't moved, she would have been dead. Despite all the hardships of growing up during war times, Alexandra continued on with her learning. Along with her other studies, she was learning French and English. It was through her English teacher that Alexandra met her future husband, Edmund Peterson, who was an American staff sergeant stationed near Athens. She was invited to a party for American soldiers that was hosted by her English language teacher. And she went, and um, it was April 1945, and she met Edmund Stuart Peterson and they became quite good friends and eventually fell in love and got engaged two months later. On October 13th, Edmund and Alexandra were married in a Greek Orthodox church in Athens. Not long after, Alexandra was on a ship accompanied by other GI brides bound for America. She was to go down to Mobile, Alabama to stay with Edmund's family until he was able to return from the war. Immediately upon her arrival, Alexandra experienced the cultural shock of being in a new country for the first time. Something that happened very interesting when she was in Mobile. Uh, they had taken her out, they had taken her to an outing, and she was thirsty. And I remember she told the story of how there were two water fountains and one had a long line and one didn't and she said she was thirsty and didn't want to wait on the line and she went and drank from the fountain that didn't have a line and everybody was shocked and they tried to pull her away from it and it turns out that was the blacks only water fountain and she thought that was ridiculous and to her credit she went ahead and drank from that, and I'm proud of that. Not only was the idea of segregation completely new to her, but also simply understanding people posed a bit of a challenge. Even though Alexandra learned the English language prior to her arrival in America, she was not exactly prepared for the strong accents of the people of the South. Alexandra even ended up getting into some trouble occasionally because of how different the customs of her new family were from what she was used to back in Greece. She tells a, st a story of how she tried to wash the wallpaper and uh, it got uh, kind of wrecked. The couple she was living with were Mormons and um, the Greeks always liked to have a beer with dinner and my mother had gone out and bought a six pack of beer and put it in the refrigerator and tells of how she sort of scandalized the family because the Mormons would not let any kind of alcohol in their refrigerator and here was this this strange Greek woman bringing in beer. Eventually Alexandra was able to adjust quite well to the new culture and she and Edmund raised a family of their own in New York. Alexandra Haja Theodora was a young girl during World War II the first Greek war bride of the time, a mother and a grandmother. 
Everyone has a story, and she is no exception. Αγάπες μου μεγάλες δεν με βοηθάει η μνήμη μου Ξέχασα πολλά μα όχι και εκείνα που Εκείνα που έχω ζήσει το σπίτι που μεγάλωσα Οι πρώτες μου αγάπες και οι φίλοι αυτοί που μάλωσα